What's up, gamers? I'm going to be showing you the best locations to shiny hunt fighting Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. This was a highly requested video, so here it is for everyone who has asked. You can check out the timestamps if you want to jump to your Pokemon that you exactly want to catch. And without further ado, let's get on into the video so you can get yourself a nice shiny fighting Pokemon. Okay, so for the fighting sandwich that I'm using here, it's going to be a pickle, pretty simple, and two salty Herba Mysticas. Of course, you have your other options in the game if you don't want to use salty, and I'm sure one of you are going to slap that recipe down in the comments below for everyone. That's going to be fantastic if you do that for the nice people who don't want to use salty. And you can see how simple it is. Boom, boom, boom. Three pickles. What a delicious sandwich, right? Right? I'm fighting for my life if I have to eat this sandwich. Disgusting. And that's probably why it's a fighting type sandwich. When you're done, you get to see sparkling power fighting, title power fighting, and encounter power fighting. That means you made a successful sandwich, and let's get into the hunting. Now, if you do want a group of just Glades spawning in easily, this is probably one of my favorite spots to do a quick town reset from. This is going to be right on the opposite side of Zapopico. It's going to be Zapopico West. All you got to do is... This really easy trick of going into town all the glades despawn go right out of town and all your glades that are going to spawn will respawn where are you glades we need you glades there we go we just had a bunch of glades okay maybe we walk a little further there we go there's a the glades they're starting to spawn okay so the glades are a little bit difficult to spawn so you might have to walk a little further for them to spawn but what you're going to be looking for is blue once you spot the blue on glade you know you got a shiny but it's easy to kind of reset here it's not too complicated you go back into town you come out and if you don't want to stay in town, I always suggest that you just walk straight towards the cave and make sure you're always turning your camera left and right. So this is a very good Glade hunting spot, which I'm also surprised exactly exists right by this town. And they're just casually walking around. There's a, a third evolution right there. So that's how you got to get your Glade. So what I would like to do is explore the whole area. Make sure you're turning back. If you want to do town reset, you can. I'm a person who usually likes walking around and exploring. You can just go ahead and do that. Basically run up until that cave or you can make a left in this area spawn a couple more that's pretty much going to be how you're going to be hunting the glades so pretty much that's it zappa pico west and good luck in this whole entire area getting your glade hey real quick hit that like button and subscribe because it tells me you like videos like these and i will make more typing videos as you guys continue to subscribe and like and also comment down below which typing you want to see next for the pokemon videos okay so the next area that we're going to be talking about is going to be by the casa Roya lake area and and pretty much what we're going to be talking about is from this landmass all the way up here. This is a, a lovely path I like doing. And it's going to be a dual hunt. It's going to involve Krogunks, Toxicroaks, and Flamigos. And now the fun part about this hunt is that you could go really fast back and forth because when usually groups of families spawn you can zoom pretty quick and i'll show you that because you'll see it in a live example so what we're gonna do is zoom pretty fast now the only thing that is bad for going very fast is single pokemon that spawn single pokemon that spawn can be delayed in the render and you could miss them that's the only con to doing this but this is what i found to be a lot better when it comes to getting your shiny pokemon quick especially when they spawn in groups like you can see as i'm running fast you're still getting the group spawns see how they're just showing up and i'm gonna run to the edge over here that's a single pokemon by the way and then once i hit my edge here there's a bunch of flamigo here i'm gonna be heading back now Flamigos, what you're going to be looking for is a very pale version compared to the regular ones. And the Krogunks, you're going to be looking for a very light blue color compared to the other Krogunks. So they're going to be very obvious in the differences of color. And you can see I'm moving pretty fast and I'm heading towards my rock formation up there. And you can see how many Pokemon family groups are spawning here. There we go. Toxicroak and Krogunks. You look to the right, there's a single one. But yeah, don't do this fast running everywhere. If there's like little single spawns running around and not groups of families, it's it's going to be a disaster. Uh, and you're definitely going to probably miss a shiny. But yeah, make sure you're zoomed out. I wasn't zoomed out. And that way you're able to rotate your camera left and right so you can see everything happening around you. A lot of Flamigos here. Yeah, so Flamigos are probably the only annoying part about this hunt that will stop you from your Toxicroaks and Krogunks. They're kind of annoying, but there you go. They do alternate in the spawns. You could also do a quick, fast render in and render out. So I take these guys out like that. And then I just render in a whole group again and then come back. You could do some zooming like that. That's that's also a quick trick to get some shiny Pokemon too on the map. So yeah, there you go. You guys now pretty much now know the options to get the Toxic Croaks and to get the Flamigos in this area. Remember, you can travel pretty much anywhere around here. That's just, just the path I like. Let me know which area you like the best though when it comes to this. Okay, another spot that I just went to right now is going to be... Right right from the South Province Area 5, and it's going to be the Swamp Area. This is another good spot to get Krogunks and Flamigos. So 
this is what you're going to be seeing the crow gunks all around here and the flamigos at wait, 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 wait. hold on hold on stop 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 that's a shiny and you you are hiding this guy was hiding in the grass nope i don't want you i want him yes oh looking good that was uh just a little unexpected but pretty much when you're in the swamp area what you want to do is rotate around you don't want to go fast here and do the fast zooms because there's a lot of single spawns here unlike the casa royal lake area so this is just going to be for the baby crow gunks and for the flamigos as you can see here again just look for that nice light color like i just showed you or just find the pale color of the flamigos and just rotate around this area constantly despawning and respawning the pokemon out until you happen to get the shiny so that's pretty much the swamp area to get these pokemon too i don't know why they group them together all the time but they just are grouped together all right so this location that i'm at is right by the south lavincia it's going to be this beach over here and running into this beach and over here what we're going to be spotting is the crab brawlers crab brawlers are all over this beach and what you're going to be looking for is a a shiny one that is going to have red gloves instead of blue so if you're going to identify that it's going to be very obvious and as usual don't run too fast because if you run too fast you might miss a spawn and not spawn them in properly so uh just yeah you could go ahead and cross this river here too it's a little well, not, it's not a river the little beach area where the water is coming in you can check out the other side as well so this is basically a good spot to hunt this and you can see all the little crabs coming in and again just be looking for red gloves so this is a nice crab baller spot by southern lavincia right over here on this beach okay so here is one of my favorite toros hot spots it's gonna be from the lavincia north and you're gonna start climbing up this grass hill area right over here right watch how crazy it gets with fighting there's a whole toros family right there boom and then you're going to go up higher, get some more Taurus, a whole nother group of them. And here's why I kind of like this area a bit. By the way, just to clarify what a shiny Taurus versus a regular Taurus is, here's the image on screen. You're going to notice it's almost like an inverse shiny. And you're going to see the coat is going to be a lot lighter, uh, grayer than the normal ones. But if you're at this hill, right, it's going to say Lavincia. And when it says Lavincia, that means you reset all the Toro spawns. So you can come up here, take a peek, not really get wrecked by all of them. That's a total option up to you. Boom, we reset them. And then you get a whole new batch. And you can pretty much do this until you do happen to get a shot. You can peek at them real quick. None of them look shiny to me with a double home click. Jump off. And just like that, look at that. I just reset again. And look how simple this is. Instead of running around everywhere. And look, we got two whole family spawns over here. So there is a nice toros trick for everybody good luck not messing up on the shiny identification again it's gonna be a little bit difficult here but at least these are the fastest ways of respawning these toros very fast and i like this area so let me know what you think of this toro spot i like it if you want a bunch of mankeys spawning of course the palmots like to invade everywhere we go in this game so it pretty much this whole video is a palmot hunting video if you really think about it anyway west province area one north all the way to cascarafa we talk about this in other videos as well this this one is going to be a nice manky hunting spot that you just have to take a path about. So you're going to see mankeys here. And what you're going to be looking for is a green one. A nice minty green manky is going to determine that you found it. And all you got to do is just make a travel straight down. And you can look to the right. You can look to the left. Make sure you are they take some time to spawn in sometimes, so don't rush too fast when you are looking for the shiny. And it could easily blend in the grass, as it is minty green. And this grass does look minty green. So I'm just going to head straight down this path. Now... I mentioned that there are two alternate pathways you can take while checking these mankeys. You could either turn right over here and get a bunch of different spawns as you're heading towards this pathway, or you can, you know, just continue going straight down. There's going to be another little right road exit over here. The faster I go, the less spawns you're going to see, by the way. So I just want to show you the pathways. Here's, here's another one up here. And then there's some spawns over here. There's a whole family over here of them. Wow, that's a lot. Got some over here. And then we're going to head over to Cascarafa. And when you do reach Cascarafa, you're obviously going to get a complete despawn of these mankeys. There's a nice mankey family right over here. Now, when we hit it, this is where you can possibly get a town reset at Cascarafa. You're here and you can step out just like this. West Promise Area 1 and boom. You got some mankeys, some palmots spawning here. So that's pretty good way of checking for some shinies here. And of course, the palmots are going to be like a nice solid red. It doesn't seem too hard to do this despawn and respawn method as they just they're just right in front of you. So if you want to do that and not really travel back and forth, you can do the Cascarafa trick to get mankey. And this is my mankey spot and best one I came up with. 
Okay, here's a really fun one. If you go all the way to Medali, we've talked about this multiple times in different videos and with different sandwiches, we get different results. Medali, you're gonna pop over to this side of it. So when we come to Medali, you're gonna see a bunch of Breloom and Primeapes just spawning around randomly. And the shiny for Breloom is gonna be orange. And for Primeape, you're gonna see some greener gloves. It's gonna be more of a tint green. The best thing to do is the town reset method, which is really nice and easy. So you just step out of here in this corner and then you can see the Breloom in the background. You can see the primates. Look at the Breloom in the corner on the right. There you go. And it's really simple. You just got to just keep rinsing and repeating this. And you'll be able to get your grass fighting Breloom eventually and your primate by just doing simple, simple town reset method. It's not that complicated. It's very simple. I've noticed the most success in this little corner exactly where I am right here. If you go over here, you're going to get more fairy spawns. And on this side, you're also going to get fairy spawns. But this, this spot is very nice. And you can easily see the shiny from a distance over here. Now, one of my favorite shinies in this game is going to be Halucha. And the North Province Area 1 teleport spot is a good area. And you can run this entire spot up until the watchtower in North Province Area 1. So this whole entire area, very good Halucha spot if you want to find them. So if you come here, you should already see tons of them. There, <laughs> Look how many, look how many are already spawning straight ahead of us. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. The shiny is going to be really obvious. And what you could do is you could just simply walk away from a whole group of them in this area, despawn them, and then just walk back into the area again. And you're going to get so many spawns back. That's a quick way to do it if you're in a certain area. And sometimes you'll get the occasional palm uh, surrounded by the palmies in the spot. But if you want to just enjoy and walk around and just get new spawns constantly, you can just explore this entire area. Just walk around because you're going to get Halucha spawning everywhere. You can see it right now in my game. Just make sure you're looking left, you're looking right. And once you see it's shiny, it's going to be the coolest thing in the world. Its colors are just so nice. But yeah, if you could just follow this pathway from the Pokemon Center over there. Maybe you'll get lucky. You might bump into a Palmot Shiny, which is going to be a nice red color. Maybe do this if you're trying to dual hunt these two at the same time. Up to this point, here is where I, I go to do the hunt. And then I'll just go back down, spawn in a couple more. And if you want, you can sometimes glide, but just go a little slow on your glide. You can see how gliding sometimes helps out with a couple spawns too. Look at that. I got an aerial view too of them. Yeah, you can do a little glide. That, that's actually a really nice glide spot from the hill. Look at that. All right, so there you go. That's how to hunt Halucha. Oh my gosh, Shiny Halucha. There it is. I said, oh my goodness. Yes, the coolest shiny ever just showed up here. Yes, Halucha City, baby. Now, if you want a nice and clean, easy Hariyama hunt with Makuhitas, your best bet is coming to the East Province Area 3. This area is going to be full of them, and you've probably noticed one or two in this area initially, but when you have the sandwich on for fighting, it's going to boost them a lot. And the shinies for this are going to be really, really, really obvious. The Makuhitas are going to have a little bit of red boxing gloves. And the Hariyamas are just going to be straight up very obvious. This is going to have purple hands. So you can just walk around this whole entire area. Check them out. They spawn everywhere with the fighting encounter. This is probably your go-ahead runaround spot when you are looking for this thing. I'm walking around and you just get non-stop families of these guys spawning around. It'll be a couple Makuhitas. And then eventually, there it is, the Hariyama and a bunch of Makuhitas. So here's chances of getting a shiny here are going to be very impressive and very cool here we go reach the town uh now this is the zappa pico trick where you are going to be in the town and when you walk out of the town spot you step out as soon as it says east province area three look forward you're going to get a spawn or two there you go <laughs> and if you just want to be a little bit of a lazy shiny hunter while watching some tv you could just back up with a, one control they all despawn out walk back forward again you look around and they're going to spawn back in and uh, it's, it, this is a pretty easy nice little town reset method so you can do that from zappa pico again i am going to be on the east side of zappa pico when trying to pull that off so you could either teleport there or walk around the whole entire area that's kind of fun or you could just do a town spawn okay now this location in the north province area too basically your bamboo forest is going to have a lot of these guys here the phalanx and sometimes i confuse them for steel types but they're actually just pure fighting types also heracross is a bug fighting type and that's going to show up a lot here so this is almost like a dual hunt of phalanx and heracross so heracross you're going to simply be looking for a pink one and phalanx you're going to be looking for the light brown one and you could pretty much just explore this whole entire 
entire forest. This forest is, again, another laggy spot, but it shouldn't be too hard to identify these shinies between all the trees and things like that. And these two are the ones that are going to spawn hardcore in here. You're not really going to get interfered by a bunch of other Pokemon. So narrowing down the hunt should be pretty easy. And what I like to do is I like to go from opposite side to opposite side. You can do the despawn trick where you just see them. You walk away until they despawn and come back. But I like to just walk through. I usually find most of my luck running through in an area till I get to an exit point and then turning around and coming back. And uh, you should easily be able to get a shiny here. You spend some time here. It would be a joke. So yeah, there's your dual hunting for Phalanx and Heracross. If you want to do some overworld Meditite and Medichan hunting, you can come over to Alphernada right over here. And what we're going to do is just pretty much head up this giant hill pathway. And here we are. I'm already going here and you can see them spawning in everywhere here. A good amount with fighting. Now, the Meditites are going to be red in color and the Medicham is going to be blue. They're kind of like flipped shiny colors so they should be very easy to identify and on this hill they're just spawning everywhere and you can just easily zone in and out on the hill in order to see them they have a good spawn in area zero sometimes oh i didn't even know that we get makuhiro and hariyama here look at that that was a spawn i wasn't expecting but they, they spawn there too but mostly you are going to get metacham and metatites here as we are going up the hill here's another family of them over here and because this is the psychic town it makes sense that you're getting get a, a psychic fighting pokemon here we go another group here and i'm just gonna make my way up this hill we're gonna get some dawn fans rolling down and again <laughs> our palm moths are showing up everywhere in this map so uh i guess this whole guide is pretty much how to get palm moths and as you get to the top look at that some galades are spawning up here too that's pretty cool so galade hunting at the top of the mountain let's see what else we're getting here we metatites palm moths we're gonna keep climbing up here there's another family of metatites and metachams and then we reach the peak top. And then we're going to see our belly bolt static spawn. There's a static spawn right there. And um, you can just repeat and go down. And as you go to the top by the water, you're going to have your flamigos spawning up here. But yeah, this is my overworld Metatite Metacham hunting spot. The lower you go, the better in terms of the spawns. Up here, you're going to get Glades spawning but you can walk this whole path going up so good luck getting your meditate meta chance up here if you want to get riolus it's really hard to find a good spot to hunt them this is pretty much where you're going to be going so you see cortando here and you see where i am located right over here you're gonna be running this entire pathway all the way down right around this area this is going to be your whole riolu buzz line and you can see you can have riolus here these guys followed me from inside the cave the makuhitas you're also going to be bumping into a couple palm moths, but you can see the riolus here showing up there there's a couple of them and as we go slow and steady we'll start to get more spawns you'll see the spawns coming in as we are continuing down this line and you also see the palm moths. so it's kind of a dual hunt again it's sometimes hard to get a solo encounter of a pokemon you want just because the game likes to group a lot of things together but yeah these are the riolus here they're running all the way out until this point and this is where i like to really hunt them down this is a really good spot so just look around don't go too fast you can stay to one area if you want and then come back and forth because as you get closer to the water, things are going to spawn differently. So yeah, if you really want the best spots that are buzz lining down back and forth, stay in this area by this tree with the Riolus and then go back under there and keep respawning and despawning them out. If you go to the area one hills, it's going to start to get confusing because it's metatites and other stuff. So this is what I like to stick to if I'm just hunting Riolus, this little area right over here. It's a nice spot. Okay, so around the area of North Province area two, which is this whole area. So it's, it's below the bamboo forest and it's above this area. It's going to be this nice green area very rocky it's gonna be where the team star fighting base around is located this is a very hot halucha spot uh but the big thing about this area is this is where lucario mass outbreak can occur and lucarios are going to be able to spawn like there you go right in front of me just like this right you see the lucario here but the problem is these lucarios with the riolos are not that common and it's gonna be hard to get them to constantly spawn the trick in order to get these Lucarios to spawn consistently is going to result in us doing something called the mass outbreak trick, right? So we have our sandwich boosted on fighting. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and save my game right here. So I did pop a sandwich. Now that sandwich is officially wasted, <laughs> but here we go. I'm going to open up my map so you can see what's going on in the map. And we're going to do the simple date re reset or the date skip. We're going to do the date skip method. And what I want you to be aware of is, please, if you don't like this and you consider this to be not the way the game is played, simply wait till 11.59, pop a sandwich, and let the date shift until you get something different. And we're just going to keep doing this until we get a Lucario outbreak. And there we go. There it is right over there on the map. You saw how fast that was. It was pretty much about, if because of editing reasons, 
We was about three to four skips and we were able to reach it. So we're just going to mark up that spot on the map, head over there. And that's pretty much how fast you can hunt your Lucario down. So let's go over to that spot. All right. So I now have arrived at my Lucario outbreak. And you can see we are getting a good amount of Lucario spawning. So all you basically have to do at this point is one, you could do a picnic reset, which is basically opening a picnic, closing a picnic and having all the spawns reset. But the highest amount of possibility you're going to get to get a shiny Lucario would basically be knocking out 60, which is going to increase the chances, having a shiny charm. And then when you do the picnic reset after 60, your chances are going to be extremely high. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you're going to be able to get Lucario quick and get that shiny. Here's a clip of me having it shiny in another video that I recorded in a mass outbreak doing the same trick in the area. All right, so this is area zero research station number one. And when you pop your fighting sandwich, now again, if you're in Pokemon Scarlet, this is going to be a lot more obvious. You're going to have a bunch of Halucha here, but we're mainly here for Slitherwing. And Slitherwing is going to be very obviously a brighter yellow color than this. And you have an option to hunt multiple Pokemon. So you're going to bump into Haluchas by the top area here. And as you're moving down this pathway from the station, you're going to start seeing some nice slither wings. You're also going to see some Palmots. You're getting a good majority of the fighting Pokemon showing up here. Obviously, my attention is going to be on the slither wing. I've done this on stream and I have gotten a shiny Slitherwing here and I definitely missed a bunch of shiny Metatites and Metachamps as I was exploring so these are very hard to see they're, they're gonna be a red and blue like the Metatites are gonna be red and the Metacham is gonna be blue yeah so basically what I like to do is pretty much either choose to run up to this rocky cliff area but once you come to the cliff area you're gonna see a lot of Halucha like this is the hottest Halucha spot in area zero once you get right to this rock cliff area these are gonna take the spawn of some paradox mons here anyway keep going back up to the location of the lab and your slither wings will start spawning over here you'll see them there they are there's our slither wings an alternate option to hunt the slither wings or another pathway if you don't want to run to that hill where the haluchas are is when you're coming down from the lab you can go into this cave instead and this cave is uh not cave but like a little underpassing way this will spawn more slither wings and you can keep seeing the slither wings while running down to the area station number two. So you're also going to get Metatites and Metachamps spawning in here. I just want you to pay attention because I messed up. I have my double tap home button zoom in so I don't goof. But if you really don't care about that shiny, this is a great fast run for getting the Slitherwing. So just walking down this path, I just want to make sure you guys see the exact way I'm going here. There's the Slitherwings. We get more of them. Some Palmots over here with Palmies. There's a little side cave here. Don't get distracted because there's really nothing in there except the TM. We'll keep going down. I say that as I get distracted and go in the cave. There's some Meditites and Metachams, more Slitherwings. And as soon as you get to this section over here, this is when your Slitherwings are going to slow down and you're going to enter a completely different type of Pokemon spawn. So Slitherwings have stopped at this point as soon as you hit this rocky area and yeah now our spawns have changed and we should just be seeing haluchas by the spot and basically that's the pathway for slitherwing all right for you scarlet players from research lab number four you're just gonna go to the right and do this pathway we've talked about this in multiple videos of the main path that we do we just go up over here you obviously you move to the right of research lab and you start following this pathway it's a simple one that we like to repeat over and over again we see a bunch of these over here now the great test is gonna be really obviously it's gonna be a bright greenish yellow so it's gonna be pretty simple then you make a left when you see this giant area over here and then you're going to jump off the cliff make sure you're always checking behind you because of spawns that come in i tend to move sometimes a little fast here and then you're going to jump off reach the floor point here just like that and take a look around make sure you didn't miss anything and you're going to continue straight up until you reach the research lab again and you know try to not bump into these guys here and you see the research lab as we keep going straight up here another spot and eventually as you are going through this area you will bump into your shiny i've also gotten one of these on stream which was really, really exciting on this pathway now from our jumping point when we jump below that big area you're going to find these weird rock formations. And on these weird rock formations, you're going to find a lot of good spawning spots for this Pokemon. So as you can see, if I jump on here, you're going to get a huge grouping of them. And it's going to be simple just to back up from here, despawn them out, come back to this spot. And they're all just, they're just all going to go away. And as you come back, you're going to get a whole bunch of new spawns. And they spawn in pretty quick because you're in one area. So this is also a really good spot if you do want to hunt a bunch of these guys here. Just look for these odd rock formations over here. Now my sandwich just ran out as I'm saying this. But look for these odd rock formations by the crystals this one doesn't have anything really pressing on it there's about three there one two and three so this is where you're going to be doing your good quick hunting i like this better than the pathways but i just wanted to show both 
And if you watched my last video, you're aware that this already exists. Pretty much for Iron Hands, you just want to go to area zero and be at research station number four. Do the exact same pathway that we talked about for the other Pokemon, because you're only going to be getting Iron Hands spawning in here. Now, the best way to not be trolled by Iron Hands, because Iron Hands is hard to tell about the shiny, because it, when it's turned off, it's very silver. You're just going to be really looking at the top of its head. If the top of its head is not blue, that is going to be your shiny one. Because you can see that power turn on is an absolute, like, it makes your heart jump. You think you found the shiny. So that's the only big thing you need to pay attention to when it comes to Iron Hands in these caves. And like I mentioned before, from the jumping platform, you want to go to that crazy rock formation, so just jump off like that fly under this little waterfall spot yeah head to these crystals here and just spawn in all of them on this rock this rock like i said is amazing and a simple respawn should get you a your iron hands shiny very very fast okay iron valiant is in this cave when you use the fighting sandwich but in our fairy video you get way more spawns of iron valiant by going to the other cave where we were hunting iron hands and a lot of the other paradox mons and it's probably the only one that spawns down there but but if you choose to hunt over here, you can. It's not a bad spot. But yeah, you'd probably have way more fun going to that other cave and having way more spawn, especially on that rock I showed you uh, for Iron Hands. So yeah, go ahead and check that video out. Now you know all the best fighting locations to get shiny Pokemon in the game, but you should also check out this video so you can be a pro at finding these Pokemon in these locations.